so the styrene gas leak is another sad reminder that how our industries do not regulate themselves properly um be it their processes be it their um facility be it their um, overall functioning none of that is uh, taken care of uh, in case of the lg polymer uh, india private limited uh, which is at vishakhapatnam the styrene gas which is used as one of the basic building blocks in this industry uh, got leaked um as of now based on all the information that is available on ground it has been attributed that as a result of faulty on site uh, storage of the styrene gas and um it was not stored um at a certain temperature at which it's supposed to be stored which resulted in the increase in the pressure in the storage container and its subsequent dispersal leakage and dispersal to the nearby areas now the nearby areas are all residential so it affected all the people in that nearby area or almost at least 1000 plus and uh, it was very unfortunate that this happened because we also have almost 8 to 9 people who have lost their life in this incident styrene is dangerous i have already mentioned uh, earlier that under the uh, manufacture storage and uh, import of hazardous chemical rule 1989 it is classified as hazardous and toxic it is a flammable uh, gas um, you know it has both short term and long term impacts have been observed for this gas based on the recent um, disaster that happened in vishakhapatnam we see we we see that um, it has caused lot of eye irritation lung disorder um uh, you know impacted the central nervous system functioning of the people uh, depending on the distance from the industry uh, because that also determines the kind of toxicity um, that or like the exposure that a particular person or an individual has um you know it it has it has resulted in um, different kind of uh, symptoms in everyone so it is definitely a dangerous gas i would say it is uh, majorly the fault of the project proponent they are responsible for maintaining their facility and during the lockdown they were still given permission to maintain the facility and uh, even though facility or their manufacturing process was not working and there were uh, site engineers and uh, technicians and personnel um, who were taking care of the maintenance and right when they were about to restart the facility this thing happened so that means this whole time either there was a fault or they did not maintain it properly or they were careless when they were restarting it they did not check the systems properly and they just decided to restart it so looking at the bigger picture and all the information that we are getting from the ground it completely and to a very great degree points towards their lapse in judgment and they should definitely be held accountable for this we have a very uh, sound regulatory um, system in place in terms of acts laws regulation rules i think we are uh, well taken care of i mean if i have to recall we have the umbrella act of environmental protection act um, we have the environmental protection rules then we have the um, like i mentioned earlier um, Uh, manufacture storage and import of hazardous chemical rule 1989 then we have um, hazardous waste management handling and transboundary movement rules of uh, 1989 to then we have factories um, act we have um, public liability insurance act so i mean we have a very sound system in place which we can use to uh, devised guidelines and protocols for managing these things 